Well hey there, I'm Mike and welcome on ES channel. In this video we are going to discuss about FTP file transfer protocol and how the FTP protocol works. We keep talking about important topics for getting in the world of networking. Also, there are my other videos that I suggest you see and if you want you can subscribe my channel by clicking below. HTTP and FTP are both file transfer protocols and have many common characteristics. They run on top of TCP. However, FTP uses two parallel TCP connections to transfer a file, a control connection and a data connection. The control connection is used for sending control information between the two hosts, such as user identification, password, commands to change remote directory and commands to put and get files. Furthermore, it is used for the transfer of commands, which describe the functions to be performed, and the replies to these commands. The control connection follows the Telnet protocol. The data connection is used to send a file. FTP uses a separate control connection and then FTP is said to send its control information out of band. HTTP sends request and response header lines into the same TCP connection. For this reason, HTTP is said to send its control information in band. When a user starts an FTP session with a remote host, the client side of FTP initiates a control TCP connection with a server side on server port number 21. The client side of FTP sends the user identification, password and commands to change the remote directory over this control connection. When the server side receives a command for a file transfer over the control connection, it initiates a TCP data connection to the client side. If, during the same session, the user wants to transfer another file, FTP opens another data connection. The control connection remains open throughout the duration of the user session but a new data connection is created for each file transferred within a session. The data connections are non-persistent. The commands, from client to server, and replies, from server to client, are sent across the control connection in 7-bit ASCII format. Each command consists of four uppercase ASCII characters, some with optional arguments. Some of the more common commands are User and pass are used to send the user identification and password to the server. List is used to ask the server to send back a list of all the files in the current remote directory. The list of files is sent over a new data connection rather than the control TCP connection. Retra file name is used to retrieve a file from the current directory of the remote host. Store file name is used to store a file into the current directory of the remote host. Allo, this command may be required by some servers to reserve sufficient storage to accommodate the new file to be transferred. Abor. This command tells the server to abort the previous FTP service command and D any associated transfer of data. The abort command may require special action to force recognition by the server. This networking program we are following can be a good starting point for those approaching networking for the first time or for those who want to improve certain knowledge. I would remind you that you can follow me simply by clicking on subscribe below. How does the FTP protocol work? Firstly, the user must provide a user identification and a password. And then, after providing this authorization information, the user can transfer files from the local file system to the remote file system. The user interacts with FTP through an FTP user agent. The user provides the host name of the remote host, and then the FTP client process in the local host establishes a TCP connection with the FTP server process in the remote host. The user then provides the user identification and password which are sent over the TCP connection as part of FTP commands. At this point, the user is authorized by the server and is able to transfer one or more files stored in the local file system into the remote file system. There is typically a one-to-one -one correspondence between the command that user introduces through user agent and the FTP command sent across the control connection. Each command is followed by a reply, sent from server to client. The replies are three-digit numbers, with an optional message following the number. Some typical replies are 125 data connection already open, transfer starting 425 can't open data connection 452 error writing file Throughout a session, the FTP server must maintain state about the user. In particular, the server must associate the control connection with a specific user account, and the server must keep track of the user's current directory. Keeping track of this information for each ongoing user session constrains the total number of sessions that FTP can maintain simultaneously. HTTP, on the other hand, is stateless. It doesn't have to keep track of any user state. Well, I hope this lesson has helped to make a few things clearer for you. 
If you've got any questions about FTP, just pop them in the comments under this video. If you love this channel and you enjoy my lessons, then please make sure that you subscribe to my channel right here. And check out some of the other lessons that I have made in this playlist right here. See you in the next video and thanks for watching ES channel. Bye for now.